wanted to talk to you today about one of my favorite topics that I've had amazing success with is pain and the occasional discomfort, whether it be uh, you're a weekend warrior and your dog's out hiking um, and strains his ACL. My guy actually stepped on the deck the other day. I didn't realize it was 32 degrees. It was a sheet of ice. He slipped, he strained his back. So I had these topical essential oils and internal essential oils to support him. Um, the next is possibly supporting a geriatric pet. So currently in the United States, one out of every two dogs will die of cancer. We have such a toxic environment. We have toxic homes. They're being loaded up with um, pharmaceuticals and toxins in commercial pet food. The second is kidney and liver disease. So when I adopted our old guy, Buka, a year ago, he's currently 11 and a half years old, he came to us with kidney failure. And he did have some arthritis, some aches and pains, and of course I was not going to add any other chemicals or pharmaceuticals to his system which would tax his kidneys further. So I wanna show you what I do in our home. So if you have a dog that just has a minor strain, um, possibly, you know, like I said, you went out hiking or he went for a run or went for a swim or he had an injury. He stepped on an oyster shell and cut himself and had some pain. I absolutely love frankincense topically. This is a really powerful anti-inflammatory, um, helps soothe their mind and calm them down. And then you can topically add the copaiba. Now we're gonna give you some dilution charts. Of course, every dilution is different for every size dog. So my five pound dog gets a very diluted topical oils. My 13 pound dog, a little bit different. My 92 pound dog can actually have oils the strength of a human. Um, so that would be for just a minor injury. So for my guy, when he does hurt himself and we have a major injury, an acute injury, or um, it's getting a little colder out in the winter months, his arthritis tends to um, bother him a little bit more. I love repurposing my bottles. This is an old Garo Palm bottle. And I put the stickers on the bottle of the oils I'm gonna use. I like the Garo Palm because it's got this nice dropper and I can mix up my combination there or Here's another one I have. This is my frankincense bottle and it was towards the end. So I'm gonna add those oils that I like to use. So I wanna tell you about those oils. I love frankincense, as I said, great anti-inflammatory. I love adding lemongrass essential oil. Lemongrass removes inflammation and helps support inflammation in tendons and ligaments. Then I add marjoram essential oil. This helps support inflammation in muscles. I add lavender, very calming, very soothing to muscles. And of course we talked about the frankincense. And lastly, I add the copaiba. The copaiba is phenomenal for reducing nerve inflammation. So I put all of those with the correct dilution into my dropper bottle and I add the appropriate amount of fractionated coconut oil. And I am gonna show you in a moment how I apply that to him. The second thing, if there is an acute injury or you are dealing with a geriatric, I love supporting all pets should be on an omega. Omegas, they help lubricate those joints. They're great for cardiovascular health. They're great for um, their brain health. Uh, they. The thing about this omega is currently right now, the omegas that we get are usually higher in sixes. So you really want that ratio to be a three to six is a one to one. When it gets higher in sixes due to the food that they eat, um, then we start to see more inflammation. It actually can cause more damage. So adding those omegas is phenomenal. The deep blue polyphenols. Yes, you are right. You cannot use deep blue rub or deep blue oil with pets because it has wintergreen and wintergreen can um, cause a thinning of the blood. And so we don't wanna use that. But the deep blue polys, these are polyphenols, heavy doses of antioxidants. And what's in here is that frankincense, that turmeric, the 
um, green tea, ginger, all those really, really heavy doses of, of antioxidants to reduce inflammation. That's the name of the game is to reduce inflammation. Lastly, I love to use the turmeric. So the difference between regular turmeric oil or adding turmeric powder is this is the actual botanical itself plus the oil. So you're getting those tumoroids plus curcumarones um, in one capsule. So you're getting a really powerhouse anti-inflammatory. And let me show you how I give that to him. Okay, so this is Buka. He's almost 12 years old. So as I had mentioned, I am going to give him two of the XE Omegas, one of the turmeric and one of the deep blue polys. We are still recovering from the injury when he slid on the ice. And I like to use whipped cream cheese. It's just easy for me. I'm going to scoop up a little bit of this cream cheese. I add my supplements to it. I just cover a little up on the top and scoop it down. And he thinks he's getting a cookie. There you go. And let me show you how I apply the topical oils now. Okay, so I take my oil blend and what I do is apply this twice a day. I like to keep this bottle in the kitchen so when I feed them in the morning. And I'm just gonna apply one to two drops. So I lift the fur up. I usually, depending on if they have any neck pain, um, Bean's gonna help us. Uh, if they have any neck pain, then I'll put one drop on his neck. I'll put, his injury was in the middle of his back, so I'm gonna put one drop in the middle of his back and I'm gonna rub that in. If your dog, an elderly dog, has any hip pain, um, which many of them do, you will apply one drop right here in between the hip bones. So we do that twice a day, and we do the internal oils twice a day. So by doing this, by supporting his inflammation naturally, and not adding any more chemicals, I'm able to detox his body. And in a time span um, of six months, his kidney values dropped and he is currently now in the normal range. We do his blood work every six months, super important. So if you do have a pet that has an injury, I highly recommend you try these essential oils. Starting with just one or two is perfectly fine. And then um, you can build up after that. If you have a very acute situation, you can actually give the supplements and use those essential oils every three to four hours. Just like food, our body is metabolizing those essential oils. And so we don't want to reduce that inflammation and then have it rise again. So in a very acute situation, I will apply the oils and give supplements every two, every, excuse me, three to four hours for the first 24 to 48 hours until I um, can get that inflammation back down. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, this has been just a game changer for our dogs. Two last